yeah, like I said, if you've only just come on, you've got me probably at my worst in terms of my menopausal symptoms today, lack of sleep, just full on. So, um, yeah, I need this as well. So thank you for joining me. So we're going to start seated cross-legged or however is if, you, if, if it's more comfortable for you to just take a seat on a chair or a little bit higher up, that's absolutely fine, whatever you want to do. We're going to take the hands down. Down is just, so there's going to be little yoga elements today, you might have gathered. Down is a gesture of looking inwards, so it just gives us a moment to ground in. And actually, I think first thing in the morning, for us menopausal ladies, it is quite helpful to do that because our minds can be quite switched on quite quickly with all the things that we need to get done. And what we want to do is just be here and present and take stock of what's going on. So close down the eyes and let's just take a moment to sit. Finding some length in your back. Lift of the chest. Sitting tall through the crown of the head and a real relaxing of the shoulders. Just noticing how your balance feels. Are you even left and right on your sit bones? Your shoulders nice and soft. Can you find a softness in the face, in the jaw, in the eyelids? And we just pause for a moment, just noticing the natural breath and what's going on in your bodies for you today. And if for whatever reason you can feel some tension, be that physical or emotional, just let it sit within you and notice where it is that you really feel that. Sometimes it can be in your stomach, a tightening in your chest, it might just be that inability to calm the mind. So we're just going to stay here for a couple more minutes. looking inwards and just being okay. Saying to yourself, I am here. It is this morning and I am here. Beginning maybe to deepen your breath and that awareness of a rhythm breathing in through your nose and gently exhaling through the mouth. And again, breathing in. And that exhale of letting go. Breathing in your new day. Letting go of worries, tensions, thoughts. And again. hands come off the legs into the sides of the body just gently to the floor next to you. You can either open your eyes or keep them closed for now it's up to you. We're going to just raise the right arm up into the air as we breathe in and feel that stretch upwards and then we're just going to bring it back down as we exhale. No stretching to the sides yet just feeling that movement up into the sky. Inhale lifting the other arm up. And then as we let the arm return and again breath in up and back down a bit lifting on the other side and then down and then turn the palms to face up both arms are going to stretch out to the sides as we breathe in and when they get above, so you're going to interlace the fingers and as you exhale, you're going to push the air down into your lap. And then we take that again, inhaling, lifting up. If you want to open your eyes and look up, you can. And then exhale, pushing the hands down. And again, breathing up. Exhale down and it's gentle, nothing's forced. Just moving with that gravity. And again, breathing in. And then exhale. Take the hands back onto your lap. Again, palms face down. 
Again, coming to look inwards. We're going to roll those shoulders up towards the ears and back and down. Easy circles. Noticing how are your shoulder blades? Are they moving on the back of the body or are they stuck? We want to feel that incorporation of the shoulder blades on the back of the rib cage because it really helps with loosening up the spine. That gets extremely tight. Take it the other way. Retract the shoulder blades. Almost visualize those wings coming together and then lift and easy on the way down, noticing any tightening through the neck, around the ears. You don't need that. We need to be nice and easy with this morning flow that we're going to find. One more time. Good, and then we're gonna take those arms out to the sides again, lift them up. You're gonna interlace your fingers and this time bring the hands onto the back of the head and let the roundest part of your head really nuzzle into the hands, okay? So we're not pushing, we're not forcing. The elbows are in your peripheral vision. Just try and find a softening through the shoulders so you're not overworking and over shrugging. We're gonna breathe in and as you exhale, you're gonna go over to your left and you're gonna feel that stretch down through the side of your body. Pause there, breathe. And then as you exhale, come back up. Pausing in the center, take a deep breath. And then exhale over. So just taking these like yawns into the side, into the rib cage. Inhale, stay here. And then exhale, coming back. We're going to do the same thing, but this time one hand will come down and the other arm will go up. So you'll breathe in here. And then exhale over, noticing a little more movement, a little more range. Try not to sink into that side there, keep it gentle. Breathe in, stay here. Maybe reach a bit more with the fingertips and then exhale, come back. Okay, and again, so we inhale, we're finding that raise up to the sky. We're exhaling as we're going over. Again, the purpose to open the side of the body. Inhale, maybe if you want to, you stretch the arm, but if it's enough where you are, that's fine. And then coming back. You can stick with that or you can add in these little circles, which I'm going to take in. Take a deep breath. Exhale over and then inhale. You either stay here and stretch or you roll down. And then you come back up. And then you bring it back. Okay, so a little rotation. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. You can touch the floor if you want or just float the arm. Exhaling back. And then everything comes back to center. One more time, just whatever you did then. Breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, feeling better already. And then coming back. And then sitting tall. And one more time here. Up. And over. Rotation. Oh. And then coming back. And then coming all the way, oh, don't think I'm a complete crock this morning, I'll be moaning, aren't I? Circle through the wrists, and then the other way. And then what I would like you to do, I'm gonna sit sideways for this, but you guys stay as you are, I just want you to be able to see from the side. We're gonna take the fingers and interlace them in front of us. We are gonna push away, but what I don't wanna happen, I see it happen a lot, particularly when you're rushing through a warm up, is a sort of shrugging and tightening in the body. This is to really create a lovely sort of width and opening. So you interlace the fingers as if you're softly holding a cushion or something in front of you. Draw your shoulders down, take a breath in, and then rather than just pushing away with the arms, can we round the spine into the C curve and then just gently let the back of the hands draw away. Pausing here, relaxing the chin in, noticing any traction you might have to those trapezius muscles on the top of the shoulders. Scooching in the tummy, take a deep breath into the back of the body. But then as you exhale, turn the hands inside out and sit up. Okay? Bring the arms back, we breathe in. Exhale, it's a C curve with the spine which gently allows a little pushing away with the back of the hands. Then you inhale and then you exhale and you flip the hands and you sit up. So it's a really nice gentle way to stretch those arms and those wrists. Bring everything back, breath in. Exhale. 
inhale, hold. Exhale, push him away. Flip it back last time, breath in. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, pushing away, lift those arms up, 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 separate the hands, cactus your arms, look up, there's your big stretch for your shoulders, the fingertips coming behind you and push the collarbones upwards, draw the tummy in as you take that back stretch, okay? Always with those abdominals connected. I'm not going to let my head fall back too far, but if you feel safe to, then you can allow your chin to draw up towards the roof a little bit more. Deep breath in, and then exhale, bringing everything back gently, gently, and coming over onto all fours for me, okay? Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, not too close together. If you want to go a bit wider than hip width, go for it. Have some nice open sensations in the body. Just pat through your hands a little bit, noticing how those wrists are. Okay, fingertips facing forwards, and maybe having a play with sending the fingertips out to the side also. Notice, be mindful here. And then if you can, take the fingertips in towards the body, do so. It's easier if you bring the hands in a bit closer if your wrists are feeling tight, okay? So just being aware. And then maybe coming back, turning the fingertips in towards each other. So when you're pushing the arms away here, it can feel a bit Victorian freak show, right? Feel a little weird and kooky. But just try to just not lock out those elbows. And we're gonna circle around the wrists while the fingertips are pointing in. Gentle, yeah, this is gentle mobility. Okay, and then we'll go the other way. Noticing, always noticing. Where's your head? How are you processing the movement? Are you cautious? Are you anxious? Or are you ready to feel into those little nooks and crannies? No judgment. Just be aware of how you're feeling today. You may need a gentle practice. You may be looking for something a little more. So you choose. Coming back to stillness, turning the hands to face forwards. Take them a little further ahead of you. Can you go up onto your fingertips? Take a deep breath here. We're going to round the spine into cat and stretch back, really finding that stretch in the shoulder, so your bottom possibly not coming all the way to your feet, but stretching through the arms. Then flatten the palms onto the mat, take a deep breath, and lift yourself back up. Going back onto those fingertips, taking a breath in, exhaling, rounding through your spine and sitting back. Then flattening the hands, lengthening the spine, up we come. Let's breathe in here. Let's exhale, flow back. Inhale, coming forwards. Exhale, back. And again, inhale, forwards. Exhale, take it back. We're going to stay here. Get that forehead onto the floor. Circle the arms around to your feet. Deep breath in. And then we're going to restack the spine from here into kneeling. Nice. Arms up. Interlace the fingers. And just like we did at the beginning, just push that energy down, down, down into the lap. I want you to gently bring your hands in front of the knees and tuck your toes. We're just going to sit for a moment, stretching out the toes and the soles of the feet. If this is uncomfortable, a cushion underneath the bottom, again, it's absolutely fine to give you a bit more lift, protect you from pushing too much weight down into the feet. And obviously, you can be here if that's better. Both ways are going to stretch out your feet, something we really need. I saw somebody say the other day they do this before they go for a run. So it made me think about making sure that we work on those ankles. So just sit here for a moment. Notice, are your heels falling in, falling out? Really find that stretch. If you want more, bring the knees back a little bit to create more flexion in your ankle. There's always tiny adjustments you can make if you want more. We're going to circle through our wrists and the other way. We're going to take the hands onto the shoulders and make those elbows do those circles. So we're really opening up through the body. Good. And then the other way. Let's not forget to breathe. Go again. Inhale. And exhale. 
And then if you have it within you, you're gonna bring your hands back a little bit. You're gonna draw the tummy in, lift the chest, look up, draw the shoulders back, breathe, grin and bear it. You release some of that tight fascia through the feet. And good, then from here, coming forwards, take the hands in front of you. We're gonna find our low squat. So if you can get feet flat on the floor, do. If you need to be up on your toes, that's absolutely fine. Whatever you prefer, okay? We kind of come down. I always take a little wriggle as I settle in, first thing. Settle into that position. If you have it, to, if you have it in you, you're gonna push the knees out with your arms a little bit. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. Big hip opener. And again. And here. Nice. If you can bring your hands towards each other in a little prayer position, we're going to stand straight up. So we're going to take a breath in, and as you exhale, up, up, up we go. Good. Take the arms out to the side. Stretch. We're going to go back the way we came. Inhale. Touch the hands together. Exhale. Sink it down, down, down. Notice how your center of gravity shifts when your hips get tight. Pause here. Breathe. Exhale. Let's take it up. Inhale, open the hands. Exhale. A breath of movement now, guys. Inhale, let's get that oxygen going. Back up. Inhale. Exhale. And back down. One more time. If you want a little challenge, go onto your toes, she said bravely. And up we go. Lift, 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 lift. Kick your heels off the floor. Stretch out to the side. We go back up with those arms, wibble, wibble. And then down we come. Knees are pointing out to the sides. Heels are up. Hips, lovely and open. Bring your hands down onto the floor. And the head is going to go down and the bottom is going up. Here we are, ready to start articulating through the spine. Zigzag your feet. Just parallel for me, look at them, make sure the toes are facing forwards. Soften at the knees, relax the head, relax the arms, give the head a little nod, a little shake. Let's go, deep breath. We're gonna restack the spine, gathering up, bone by bone, feeling that length, standing tall, keep the fingertips reaching down. Take a breath. Exhale as we roll. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, drawing in the tummy. We stack your spine, just finding that work as we start thinking about how the front of the body helps us move the back. Breath in. Chin to chest, draw the belly in. Find maybe a little tuck of your tailbone. If you're very tight in that lower back, you need to find lots of scoop. Take a breath in, exhale, roll up. We're going to take the arms out to the side. We're going to go to a little sun salutation. So we're going to open the arms out and fold through the spine. Notice how different that is. You're going to inhale, find your half lift. Exhale, take it down, take a breath in. Exhale, lift up through the spine, take the arms up. We're going to fold down. We're going to find our half lift and then go back down. Just give me one more like that. Just feel that work, taking the arms up, fold down. Feels so different, isn't it, to our little Pilates roll up. Find your half lift, pause here for me. I want you to take your hands onto the back of the calves, drop the chin in, breathe. And as you exhale, just bring your body closer to the legs. Try to keep the legs straight just for a moment. I'm going to slide my hands down a little bit. It's up to you where you go, you can be here. You can be here, try not to grip the back of the knees, that's all. We're gonna take some little knee stretches. So as you breathe in, bend your knees. Exhale, it literally is the head down, bottoms up, push the legs behind you. And again, breathing in. Exhale. Good, and inhale as you bend. Exhale to stretch. What do you need? Could you go lower? Do you need more? Inhale, down, down, down she goes. And then exhale up. 
one more time and then bottoms up but then from here could we walk our hands forwards and find me a bit of front support I know suddenly we're here suddenly we are in it okay crown of the head reaching forwards little tuck of your tailbone notice how it stretches out the hips the glutes engage you might start to feel your hamstrings push the floor away with your ribs with your breastbone take a deep breath and then as you exhale, you get to bend your knees, keep the toes tucked, and press back. Roll your spine back up onto all fours. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, untuck your toes. We're going to take some hip mobility drills, okay? Just hover that left leg up. Straighten it out behind you. Try not to pour all your weight onto the right-hand side, guys, okay? So notice if you're doing that. Tuck the hip back down. We're going to bend this knee, get that little stretch of the quad, and then can we circle that leg four times? Yeah, knee circles with a bit of awareness. And then four the other way. <clears throat> nice. And then place that leg down. Do the same on the other side. Stretch out that right leg, lift it, bend the knee. Notice that you don't want to pour too much weight again onto the opposite side. And we take those four circles. And then the other way. Ooh. Yeah, and lace that knee down. We're going to take the left leg out, tuck the toes. I want you to find front support for me again. So get everything engaged. Scoop it all up, take the other leg out, bend the knees gently and send your tailbone up into the air. Give me a lazy downward dog. Yeah, pad out through the feet. What do you need? Wiggle your bum side to side, push the heels down one at a time. Would you prefer to keep your knees bent and stretch your back? Or would you prefer to stretch out your legs and allow your back to have a little roundness? Yeah, there's always a bit of give and a bit of take in the body. Breathe. Big exhale, and again, exhale, okay, from here we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet, get the heels down on the floor, take a breath in, gently roll up through your spine, and then from here, we stand nice and tall, and we walk to the front edge of the mat with purpose, setting an intention. Okay, that was our warm-up. <laughs> so now we're going to get into our really good little Pilates flow. Let's take the arms into a Cossack. <clears throat> Draw your abdominals in, cross your right leg over your left, come up onto tiptoes on both feet. Yes, we're going to see if we can get ourselves all the way down to our bottoms. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Trying not to lean. Take the hands down and then just tip yourself back, uncross the ankles, hands underneath the back of the knees. We sit up tall, deep breath. As we exhale, can we tuck the tailbone round the spine, walk the hands down through the legs and find our way onto the lower back. Pause here, bring the arms down next to you. Bring one foot in a little closer, but draw the tummy in, lift the chest. Bring the other foot in a little closer, draw the tummy in, lift the chest, take a breath in. And as you exhale and round down through the spine, the arms go up towards the roof and they come out behind you in a nice wide V or in a cactus, somewhere where you can really feel your upper body is being asked to open out. From here, deep breath in. Can you exhale, draw in the tummy, Imprint your lower back, roll the pelvis up, and we're going to find that first pelvic curl, that first lift. Engage your glutes, draw the stomach in, relax the shoulders and the neck, and pause here for me. Just pause. Could everybody press their toes into the floor a little bit more and feel that posterior chain kick in? We need that, yeah, to support the back. Take a breath. And then as we roll down, we keep pressing that inside line of the foot down into the mat. Uncurl through. 
all the way to that tailbone. Any adjustments that you need to make, do so now. We really want to find a nice articulation as we move, okay? Take a breath in. Slowly exhale, feel the tummy engage. Drop down into the mat, tilt your pelvis. Imprinting, rolling, lifting, feeling the stretch of the leg, pressing those feet in hard, pressing the abdominals in. Take a breath in here. And then exhale as you roll down through the spine. And again, breath in. Exhale to roll. Dipping, moving, stretching the purpose, opening those hip extensors. Take a breath in. And then exhale as you come down. And again, breathing in. And keep moving. So my tension in my body this morning is definitely around my neck and my shoulders. I can really feel how much they want to grip, taking the breath. So as I have my arms in this quite big cactus position, I need to be mindful to let them be very heavy there and not try and engage or grip as I move, okay? Breathing in. Last time as we roll up, pausing at the top. Of course, we always pause at the top of these. Let's take the hands and bring them underneath the bum. Like hold your bum cheeks. Pull belly in and then use your hands to push your hips up a little higher. Feeling, you'll feel your glutes engage. Then bring the arms down onto the floor and stay nice and high with your hips. Try not to pull the weight into your collarbones, into your neck. Keep that soft. And as we inhale, let's just open the base a tiny bit, but keep those, that bum engaged. And exhale, squeeze together. Inhale as you open. And exhale as you squeeze. And again. And, and inhale. Keep those bottoms up, okay? On every section, whether you're inhaling or exhaling, your bum stays up. And trying to minimize that movement up and down, but just opening and closing. One more time. And take your arms back where they were into a T or a cactus. Take a breath in and then roll back down through your spine, feeling all that extra work you've created, all that activation. Good. Keeping the arms where they are, can you bring the knees together and the sides of the feet? We're going to move into some hip roll. Take a breath in. Let's take the legs over to the left, making sure the right leg stays stacked on top and opening up the right side of the body. Breathe here and then exhale to come back. And a breath. And then we go the other way, turning the head if you want that option to roll through the neck. Breathe. And then exhale as you come back. One more on each side. Deep breath in. And roll. And inhale and return. I've got all sorts of clicks and creaks happening today. And a breath in. And then over the other way, nice big stretch to the side body. Take a deep breath and then bring everything back to centre. Pause. We're going to bring that left leg into tabletop. Okay, making sure that you can't see your feet. Yeah, you should be able to see your feet there. They should be level with the knee, with that bent knee. And then breathing in. Adding the load of the second leg. So when I breathe in, everything expands, my ribs flare. So I need to exhale to engage so my back isn't overarching and then bring up that second leg. And like I said, I'm kind of bloated today. Not that I'm making excuses, but it might look like I'm not as supported as I feel. Okay, so the knees together, sides of the feet together. Let's inhale, take a small hip roll to the left. Same movement, but now we have load. And exhale to return. And then inhaling the other way, keeping the shoulders down if you can, and then back. And again, inhale over. Exhale back. We'll add a little can can. So as you inhale and go over to the right, keep the right leg bent, but exhale, stretch that left leg, knees glued together. Bring that little L shape back to center. And then bend, bring it back onto tabletop. So we inhale, go to the left. We exhale, just stretch that right leg, maybe feeling that work through your IT band. Inhale, bring your little shape all the way to center and then bend. Let's go again, breath in. Exhale, ribs drop in. Inhale, 
and then back. And again. And extend. And then coming back. And then bring it to tabletop. We're going to add a little bit of tip top. This is a little bit of a test, really. Both legs going up into the air. As they both go up into the air, try not to bring them right into you so you're imprinting your back. Try to stay neutral. Okay. So we go over to the right as we breathe in. Keep the legs together. And as you exhale, you're going to make a small semicircle down around your bottom. And you're going to pick it up on that left hip bone and then you make a straight line to center. Okay, so semi-circles the other way. Breath in, exhale as you circle, tummy engages and you bring it all back to center. That's all on the exhale. Other way, breath in, exhale. You can do it with bent legs, guys. And again, just really wakes up those core muscles now, back extensors and abdominals working together. One more time in each direction. And, and then over. Remember, it can be soft and mellow. Or it, can be, it can be tight and strong. You choose what kind of practice you need to feel here while we work through our abs section. Just hug your knees into your chest for me. Good. Can you bring your hands underneath the knees? We're going to roll up to seated, but hold on. Do not put your feet on the ground when you come up. So if you need to do it a few times, that's fine. Just feel a little rock and roll. Feel that equal amount of resistance between hands and legs and legs and hands. And then find your balance at the top of the movement. Bring those knees in. Make a little ball. God, I'm so tight in my body. So we keep going on about it. Take a breath in. Can we sit up really nice and tall? Nope, I find that hard. That back is tight on me. Let's take the left hand, place it on top of the right knee. So both hands are holding that right leg in towards you. And then stretch that left leg away. Excuse me. Take a breath in. And then tilt the pelvis. As we come down, you keep pushing away with that pointed foot and keep pushing this bent leg into the hands to control that descent. Good, draw the stomach in. We're gonna keep the legs completely still and take the hands onto the back of the head. Just legs, inhale and four more, four, three, two, one, nice, bring the legs in, just both legs going up, both legs tabletop, keep the chest up, and inhale, and just to tabletop, and two more here, and then we get brave, and, and push away, and, and keep your back on the floor, two more, one more. Take your hands underneath your knees and roll up. Try not to get your feet onto the floor. Not yet. Good job. Take hold of the back of the ankles. Can we stretch our legs up? You can do one at a time or you can take both and lift through. There it is. I need my straight back. I'm finding it really hard to find that this morning. Breathe. And... Um, Focus, look inwards, find that strength, find that stillness, that intention to just be in this moment this morning. Bring the legs together, you can bend the knees if you want, but bring the legs together. Take the hands away. Shaking, shaking, breathe, and power, and again, and bringing the legs down, crossing the legs, sitting for a moment, hands on the knees, deep breath in, feel the echo of that work, and again. OK, 
Okay, guys, so from here, I want us to come to a high kneeling position, okay? Beautiful, thank you so much for doing that with me. I'm sweating, obviously, I've been sweating all week. Come on to high knees. Okay, feel the echo of that work. You engage your abdominals beautifully, both in flexion and with that stroke back. When you do front support, you're finding a different sort of corset connection. So here we are up on high kneeling, take your hands onto your hips. Notice that when we're on kneeling, we tend to stick the bottom out more. So we just need to scooch in a bit. Could you take, mirror me, okay, so I'm taking my right leg out to the side. Hopefully you guys are taking your left leg out to the side. Try and line up the edge of your foot to the edge of your mat, or just basically make sure it's parallel. And that that arch of that foot is level with your knee. Okay, so we're trying, again, find nice alignment for your joints. The arms are coming out to the side. Stretch away with the fingertips, no shrugging. Okay, so the, the arm on the extended leg side is gonna come down, the other arm comes up. And then we just slide this hand down the leg, there's that inner thigh stretch, breathe. Stay here. And again. Drawing in, zip in, and push away with that outside heel. Good. We're gonna come back to our T-shape, gather yourself gently, and then reach over the other way. Reach, 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 and as you reach, you flex this wrist. Don't bring it down here. Trust yourself, leap of faith. As the hand goes down, maybe this leg comes up, and you bring your shoulder over the wrist. It's better for this hip, it means you're not sinking in. The top hand, coming onto the back of the head. Point that foot, extend, and push your body away from the floor. Stillness from the hips up, okay? Inhale, tap the floor with your toes. Exhale, lift. Inhale. And again, option to take the arm up if you prefer. It's up to you, it depends how your shoulder feels. And two more here. Reach, engage your glute a bit. You want this hip open, okay? And hold the leg here. We are gonna take five circles with this leg. Lift that leg up, guys, find the power. Five, four, three, two, one. Other way, five, four, three, two, one, then can you bend that knee, get hold of your foot and just give yourself a little bit of a side bow here. Deep breathing, wobbling, balancing, stretching. Then release that leg, toes come down, hand onto the back of the head and we bring ourselves all the way back up. Nice, well done, other side. <clears throat> So turning that foot out, finding some support, bringing the arms out. Nice deep breath. Up we go and taking that side bend, guard the sides of the body. If you want to turn your body so you're up slightly to the roof, that's fine. Stay sideways if your neck is unhappy. Oh, I can feel that opening up through my hip. Take another breath. And then we're gonna come back. And then here comes that moment, that leap of faith. As you reach, flex the wrist, allow the leg to come up, and gently move your body over towards the wrist. Hand onto the back of the head. Really lengthen through that top line, draw in the tummy, give you glute a little squeeze, Tap the floor as you breathe in, and then exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, and lift, and tap, lift. Go on, and again, you're just trying not to sink your body underneath. One more time, take that leg up, support yourself. Like I said, your arm can be here if that's better, or here if you've funny shoulders, okay? Funny shoulders, circle the leg, five, four, three, push your body away from the floor, 
Don't sink into that hip. And again, five, four, three, two, one. Have we got it in us to take this little side bow? Push the foot into the hand. And And then bringing that all away. Can we come up gracefully? Nice deep breath in. Lift through the side of your body and bring everything back up. Nice. Circle through your wrists. Hope you're all right. And then come down and lay onto the belly. Nice bit. Nice bit of back extension. So as you come down, if your lower back is tight and uncomfortable, and I won't lie, mine's not feeling great this morning, legs go a bit wider than parallel, okay? If you've got the space, go as wide as you like. It really just take a lot of pressure out of the lumbar spine. Pick up one leg, stretch it down a little bit, do the same on the other side, just creating as much space as we can. We're going to have little spidery fingertips coming towards the top of the mat. Head comes down, we're going to undulate through the spine. So we're going to inhale, lift the back up, head stays heavy. And then we arch upward and exhale down. And we inhale as we lift, keep pressing your hips down. And then exhale. And there should be a little moment as you come to the top where you can actually feel your abdominals stretching because they get very tight. And then down. If it's too much, you can have your hands flat. And one more time. And then as you come down, we're going to take the hands flat and use forearms and feel a little bit more tricep work now. So I'm mixing my yoga and my Pilates quite a bit today. As you breathe in, you first lift your face, lift your chest, the crown of the head being pulled up, the shoulders are down, but you push into the hands and you come up, drawing your shoulder blades down your back. To come down, you pull the floor behind you almost, you get your elbows down first and then the rest of the body follows. Now you can come in narrow or be wide. It's that sequential order. So we inhale, lifting the face, lifting the chest, and as the rest of the back follows, we are not to shrug the shoulders. So you have to use your abs, your triceps, to really encourage the body to come up without shrugging. Down, elbows first, and roll down through the sternum, the chest, tuck the chin in. And again, inhale. Drop your shoulder blades, make space for your back, and then exhale down. Let's go one more time, deep breath in. Lifting, lifting, can you stretch your legs behind you, let your feet come up and squeeze your glutes, pull the belly in, make it strong, and then as you come down, slowly lift the feet, lift the feet, lift the feet, lift the feet. Lift the hamstrings, up they go. And then down everything comes. Turning your head to one side. You can put your head on the back of your hands if you want here. Have a little moment. Mm. Moving the hips left and right. And let's bend the knees. So the feet are coming in towards your bottom and gently Moving the legs left and right. And then from here, bring the feet down one at a time. And take a moment. Pushing back into child's pose. Take a wide length child pose for me. Ease your way back. Enjoying these last few moments. Relax the head and the arms. Back in a position of looking inwards. Noticing the natural breath. Can you take a moment to notice in your body what has eased? What has awoken?
And notice where your head is. You stay in this moment for a little longer. And then we're just going to gently keep your eyes shut and your head heavy. Roll yourself back up to a comfortable seated position, either on your cushion or just stay kneeling for a moment. Palms face down, lengthening through the spine. Deep breath in together. Exhale, let it go. And again. And if you gently open your eyes, let your hands fall to the side. And for one last time, we're going to inhale, lift those arms up, feel that energy rising up through the body, interlace the fingers. And as you exhale and bring that energy down, bring your hands in towards your chest, a little sign of protection, self-preservation. Take a deep breath.